Hey there foodies! Today, we have a mouth-watering recipe that will transport you straight to the streets of Naples. It's pak shui pasta with tomato sauce and ricotta. Trust me, once you taste this heavenly combination of soft ricotta and tangy tomatoes, it will become a staple in your pasta repertoire. But before we dive into the recipe, let me introduce you to Diana Henry, the Telegraph's award-winning cookery writer, who discovered this gem during her visit to Naples. She couldn't resist adding it to her core collection of pasta dishes, and I can see why. Now, let's get cooking. First, we need to prepare the tomato sauce. Heat up some extra virgin olive oil in a saucepan or sauté pan. Add finely chopped onions and cook them gently until they're soft and translucent. This step requires a bit of patience, but trust me, it's worth the wait. Next, add a kick of heat with a pinch of chili flakes. Then, it's time to add the star of the show well-flavored plum tomatoes. You can either use fresh tomatoes or can chop tomatoes for convenience. Let the sauce simmer over a medium heat for 5 minutes, then reduce the heat to low medium and let it blip away for 15 more minutes. Tear in some fresh basil leaves and let it cook for another 20 minutes until you have a thick, luscious sauce. While the sauce is simmering away, let's move on to the pasta. Grab yourself some pak shui pasta, but if you can't find it, any tubular pasta shape will do the trick. Cook the pasta for a few minutes less than the packet instructions suggest. We want it to be al dent, with a slight bite to it. Now, it's time to bring it all together. In a large bowl, mash some fresh ricotta cheese with grated pecorino or parmesan. Season it to taste. Drain the cooked pasta, but remember to reserve half a cup of the cooking water. Add the pasta to the bowl with the ricotta mixture and give it a good mix. If the mixture seems a bit thick, use some of the reserved cooking water to loosen it up. If needed, quickly heat up the tomato sauce and add half of it to the pasta bowl. Give it a gentle toss to coat the pasta in that rich, flavorful sauce. Now, it's time to plate up. Divide the pasta between four warm pasta bowls and generously spoon some more tomato sauce on top. Don't forget to garnish with fresh basil leaves for that extra touch of freshness. And there you have it. A plateful of pak shui pasta with tomato sauce and ricotta that will have your taste buds dancing with joy. Serve it up with some extra grated cheese and extra tomato sauce on the side for those who can't get enough. So, what are you waiting for? Grab your apron and get cooking. Don't forget to share your creations with us in the comments below. Until next time, happy cooking!